WaveLab 9.5 introduces several new capabilities and a great deal of streamlining to make its core functions even easier to use. Next up is the all-new Correction Ribbon. Start by navigating to an audio file in the audio editor. The Correction Ribbon's default location is here in the center of the tab group. This all-new user interface streamlines correction functions previously found in a tool window by placing them all neatly into this ribbon. The correction ribbon's layout from left to right mirrors common workflow methods. You can see the functional areas summarized along the bottom of the ribbon, and these contain tools for range, detection, correction, and so forth. The scan range options are straightforward. You can scan the entire file, a selected range, or from the cursor position. The detection tab contains some cool presets, and you can also choose to edit these presets to fine tune them to your particular application. Then. Click on the Detect Next Error icon. Once you detect an error, you can easily mark it, and WaveLab will even insert a description next to the marker. And the Play function allows you to review the detected error in context. Now the correction area is where the magic happens. Now that we've identified an error, we can choose from a wide range of tools to correct it. Now a lot of these are self-explanatory, and there aren't many hard, fast rules. Which correction option will work best for a specific waveform often requires a little experimentation. The last option on this list is the new in-painting feature. This algorithm restores damaged material by interpolating from the remaining material around it. When you're ready, click Correct Error to execute the repair. The selection area provides tools to further refine the selected audio, including the number of samples by which to adjust. You also have controls for fine and coarse adjustment of the selection edges. Finally, the Options area lets you configure the default zoom level for the selected errors and your preferences for automatic playback and error navigation.